Uh, well, I've been involved with uh, the November Club and Culture Creative in this great performing rope project, supplying them with some history about the rope making industry in Berwick over the years. And for the last three days, I've been giving guided tours, general histories of the town, but linked through the theme of some of the sites of the rope walks in Berwick and doing demonstrations of how rope used to be made. Um, I think festivals like Barrack 900 are great for the town because it really is an opportunity to show off the wealth of history, heritage and culture that we have uh, to tourists and also to um, locals alike. In many cases, yes, it is a labour of love. Um, I just love telling people about the history of our time because it is unique. Everywhere's got a local history, but nowhere's history is quite like Barrack's. I think they've been absolutely fantastic. There was one day when it was the open day where you went around all the buildings. I've never done that in my life before, and I've been in Berwick all my life. Absolutely fantastic to see what was what the buildings were, and it was like visual arts. It was amazing, and done with the chandelier as well. It was fantastic. You know, so I've really enjoyed every event that there's been. Absolutely fantastic. We have had a brilliant year. It's getting the word out there to the public that don't know we're here. It's very difficult. Holy Island's the biggest attraction. There's nothing seems to happen past Holy Island. Nobody knows what we've got here. In a way, it's a double-edged sword. We're not too busy. The people that come here don't get the crowds. But the shopkeepers and the spin-off from that would like to see more public here. I live next to Silver Street and I think it was 12, 1270 something or other. That was the Silversmiths and we've got Gold Square. That was where they minted all the gold. You know, the history, the views, the sandy beaches, four golden sandy beaches, pier, lighthouse, promenade. The whole exhibition is connected in a subtle way, um, but ultimately it's through sort of the uh, traditional methods of how we used to make things. Again, so many people can relate to history of their families and their ancestors, and so many stories were told around creating rag rugs. As in with Paula Browning, she's used a rag rug template that she's done before with a bear, and she's actually made a mosaics from that. Well, I'm retired, but I spend a lot of my time doing mosaics, um, mainly based on Byzantine images, because that's what appeals to me. But I do other things just now and again, just to show I am capable. And I'm hoping, before the year ends, to complete um, a, a mosaic of the Berwick Bear and the tree. I think it's gone really, really well. I did a couple of years off and on in ANIC doing NCFE courses. Got to the end of those and really just wanted to carry on because I was so enthused. And I've got boxes and boxes of tiles at home and they have to be used up, so I just keep going. And that links into stained glass and all the different um, patterns that can be used from templates. Uh, you've got from wool from the sheep to the kilts and a lot of her work uses old traditional dyes you can see the differences in in the coloring for that and that links in with eve studs history of dyes and materials and plant materials that we use for that she's also used um, there's five different methods of weaving which are on demonstration in the kilt making in eve's work cords and ropes going right through to making loom bands for today.
Certainly, one of the big strong themes I think in Barrack 900 has been the family story. There's been an awful lot of uh, interest in the local record office run by Linton Bank here, and of course, the whole idea of genealogy has, has a huge increase of interest since programmes like Who Do You Think You Are and the rise of genealogy websites and things like that. So, yes, certainly um, that one thing has been a great uh, success story, I think, for Barrack 900. Well, my mum was a Venetian. She came over from Italy in 1946. She got married in Italy to a local boy, soldier, local in the, out on the war. Came over and settled in this country. Father bought a business for her to keep her going because she had nothing to go on. My father was a plumber, a local plumber. He then bought a fish shop in Railway Street called McCarry's at the time. It wasn't McCarry's then, but it was Railway Street. And then they bought a house, uh, fish shop in Castlegate. Well, my mum named it Miranda's. It started out as a, a cathartic thing when the museum management changed hands, and I felt that somebody needed to start writing and researching Berwick history. Um, and so I started doing that. And I found out all sorts of things. I write about things that I find out from people that I talk to. Um, it can be small, incidental things like, why do we have a lot of benches with a snake design on them? Or it can be large things like the building of the town hall, or telling the truth about what actually happened with the main garden, Palace Street, how that was built. I've, I just love doing this research and finding out the nitty gritty of what really happened. Um, it's a fas as I say, it's a fascinating place. With all, there's always something new to explore and to discover. The Barrick Timelines, that's a blog on Tumblr. I think it's barricktimelines.tumblr.co.uk uh, or I'm also on Facebook. Just look up Jim Herbert, Street Barrick Timelines. It's gone absolutely fantastically. Margaret Kenny and the Belford um, hookers have done a fantastic job in finishing off the work that was created as part of a community project involving over 100 local children and people of Berwick on, in three different workshops over the year as part of the Berwick 900. And we have the wonderful um, completed work here, which is looks stunning. And it was a delight to open the Berwick 900 final event yesterday with Keith Armstrong and Anne Soames and Margaret Kenny. And it was just a very, very tr fitting tribute to, to actually open the event. Drifting in moonlight, the dunes sing their songs. Wings of old battles fly all night long. Cry of the seagulls, curse of the ghosts. Apes of dead warriors scar this old coast. Hover the kestrel, sing out the lark. We will be free in our times. This air is our breath, this sea is our thirst, and our dreams are sailing home. Wandering through castles, their walls are our lungs. Searching for freedom in country homes. Forebears and old cares, blown in the wind. Pull of looked harbors draws our boats in. Surge of the salmon, the urge of the sea, leaps in our local blood. Peal of the bluebells and ring of boat tunes, reel in all those grey years. Slopes of the genius, caress of the waves, shipwrecks and driftwood float in our heads. Peel stones and carp bones hide in these hills, roots of new stories in ancient tales. Dew on our lips and fear on the breath. Drinking the countryside in, bread of the landscape and wine of this earth flows on these river beds. Drifting in moonlight, the dunes sing their songs. Wings of old battles fly all night long. Cry of the seagulls, curse of the ghosts. Aches of dead warriors, scar this old coast. And hover the kestrel, sing out the lark. 
we will be free in our time. This air is our breath, this sea is our home, and our dreams are sailing with us. Yes, the Chamber of Trade and Commerce. We look after the shops, the shopkeepers and traders in general. Uh, if there's any problems or if we can help promote them, to promote the town and the well-being of the people that do business in the town. The legacy of Berwick 900 will be bringing together the community, the history, and for me, bringing the arts and crafts together. Um, but ultimately, it's, it's sharing what is good about Berwick. I think it's been a great success. Um, I've, my wife and I have been involved in many of the events and we've been greeting people as they've come in and people from all over the world have been uh, in Berwick and have been attracted to Berwick by uh, Berwick 900. Um, we've met people from as far away as New Zealand, Australia, uh, Holland, Germany, um, all over and of course many people from Scotland and uh, the UK as well. Tonight's performance, tonight the 20th of October 2015 went very, very well. said to us has been how impressed they are that a town as relatively small as Berry can put on something as a, a comprehensive and uh, all-embracing as this. They've been really impressed by that. So well done Berry. people have heard of Berwick as a result of it. Who wouldn't have heard of it otherwise? And we're getting a reputation as a place which is lively and people um, you know, can come to knowing that there'll be things of interest on and, and so on. in the town to promote um, Berwick as uh, um, a place to visit, a place to come to rich in history with people who love the place themselves but are ready to share it uh, with visitors and part of that 
which I've already um, engaged in with others, is trying to get the, the barracks functioning as a heritage hub for the whole of Berwick and the eastern borders, in fact. Um, it's a vision which um, I hope will be realised. It will take some years to realise it, but uh, Berwick 900 has been really important in kicking that off. I'd like to just thank Tony Johnson for the timeline and all the beautiful histori all the beautiful pictures that were used to create that, but also to Derek Sharman who's with me here today and just thank you. Would you mind explaining just a little bit about the timeline, Derek? Yes, please? I mean this really sums up everything we've been doing at Barrick 900. It was the inspiration for a lot of the themes throughout mm -hmm. the whole year and a lot of the activities we've done, projects, some of the crafts displays we've got here today based on the timeline so it's been central to everything we've done in Berwick 900. Mm. Absolutely I, and a lot of the workshops and a lot of the work here today is based around that so yeah absolutely right um, but I would also like to really really thank you Derek just for everything that you've done with Berwick 900 none of this at all would be possible if, if it wasn't for yourself. Well, it's involved a lot of people, of course, as you know, and including yourself, and, and of course the, the, the other people in the steering group, and, and so many volunteers throughout the whole year. So it's a community effort for the town. Thank you. Thank you very much.